August 1940. The skies above southern England are filled with aircraft and the sounds of battle. British pilots struggle to hold back an aerial onslaught. Royal Air Force Fighter Command has barely 700 aircraft to resist over 2,500 warplanes the Luftwaffe can send against it. The aerial battles are savage, desperate, critical for the survival of Britain. Once more, pilots disperse to their aircraft. Once more, mighty engines roar as they power up their machines to take to the sky. But this time, it is not to fight, but to remember those who did. To remember those who faced death in war-torn skies. To remember those who outfought a determined enemy and won a decisive victory. This is the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight. Today, safely down to Biggin Hill. We look to be arriving there by 10 o'clock, and at 10.30, we've got uh, a briefing for the actual show. The Battle of Britain Memorial British Flight prepares for an important operation. Many months of intensive preparation and hard work have led up to this day. What I'm going to do is take you chronologically through the day. We'll then ask the Over 65 years ago, scenes like this were being repeated daily on airfields throughout Britain. An area which is cordoned off and get off And as a consequence, we will be flying at squadron strength. Now, I'll be leading red section with... Then it was a prelude to flying operations that would strain every nerve. We'll be flying at 15,000 feet. For fighter pilots, it was a prelude to fierce combat, hurling their aeroplanes in twisting patterns through the sky. And Mensor, you'll be yellow section. 